So is Stefan totally against giving Elena immortality? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely mm. not. He is absolutely not against giving her. Because immortality. they haven't really had that talk. They touched on the right. on the um, like the implications of yes. being in that relationship. On the bridge when they were on the bridge right. at, at the house. You know, um, he's absolutely not. But I also think that it would be selfish of him to impose that upon her. Uh, he knows that she knows it's an option. So he, she needs to make that, she needs to approach him. Um, but I think, yeah, for sure, from a completely selfish place. Okay. It's because the woman he loves. Right, right. Eternal yeah. love with the woman that you're with and you never age. It's true. It's fantastic. I mean, on the first episode <laughs> where she was like, why would you want that? I was like, whoa. That just showed that she did not want Right. You know, vampire. But it, it, it is a curse as well, and, you know, I mean, and that's the whole character of Stefan, you know, all joking aside, is that uh, it's a curse, you know, he sees it as something that, um, you know, he needs to feed, he needs to kill to, to survive, and he's, uh, he's turned into a monster, you know, um, 160 years of, of, of pain and uh, uh, watching the people you love die, and, you know, I think, I think that, um, it can be amazing, and it can also be really horrid. And I think having the love of his life with him would be pretty incredible. Okay. Yeah. Stefan also said that he never loved Catherine. He swears up down he never loved Catherine, and that he wasn't compelled, or that she compelled him. Right. Do you think that? I don't know. I think a it's a question. Do you think that she was always pretending to be someone? I, you time? know. Um, I, that's a really good question. I honestly think it's uh, ambiguous. I, I, I don't think that there's a finite answer. There's nothing definitive. Um, I think there's a possibility that they may have had uh, something really special and that was real once. And I think she may be manipulative. I think he, you know, who knows? Um, I think uh, the writers want it to be ambiguous. The writers want it to be open ended because it creates that much more dimension to the story. Um, so when the two characters are on screen, there's a unspoken sort of uh, chemistry. Was it difficult kind of creating, you have two different kinds of chemistry with Nina herself, mm -hmm. you know, the Catherine chemistry and the Elena. How mm -hmm. did you differentiate those two? One's like... I, you know, you know I just kind of compare it to um, women Nicole. that have been in my life, you know, in all honesty, sort of just... Uh, you know, you have different relationships with different people um, based on their personality. And, and I kind of thought, oh, well, this is similar to this, and oh, well, this is similar to this. And it's kind of, you know, um, Nina does a great job. She doesn't necessarily transform herself physically. <coughs> She's exactly the same, but she puts on a different inflection. And um, uh, her, the way she moves, um, it, it certainly helps. It's um, amazing. Yeah, yeah and, and, and it's not that difficult to uh, envision. Um, but... Yes. Uh, yeah. It's a uh, one is is love and one is lust is sort of. Uh, weird. Good way of putting it. Yeah. I wouldn't even. On the call most fundamental level. I wouldn't even call him and Catherine passion though because she's an evil. You she know. is, but she's also. Uh, right. She's evil, but she's sexy, uh, and it's undeniable. Right. Uh, you know. We and, all know. And she's like seductive. That, right? right. Right. You know. And it's, yeah, it's, it's part of her power.